All right, welcome, welcome. Happy Thursday, everybody. If you didn't join us last night in the NWO, had a good game between my uh, North Carolina Tar Heels and Cincy Bowens Florida State Seminoles. Always a good time playing Cincy. Um, so we are going to progress this season through the month of August today. Um, I think we're only going to have one full gameplay. We're going to do a uh, player lock with our number one pick from year one, Chris Cutliffe, down in AAA. Um, that'll be the first thing we do right away. We'll sim some games and play his. I want to go down there. The uh, reason why I want to do that is he has hopped over Tink Hentz and Roby. He's 19 years old, and he's a 76 overall, and he will... Battle those guys in the spring training next year to replace Sonny Gray in the rotation. Um, so I want to go take a look at him again. He's got great hits per nine, great velocity and break, stamina. His per nines could get better, but uh, it hasn't seemed to matter in the sim. He's been doing great. Here he is with a 270 ERA, only 45 hits in 60 innings. And in double A, he had like a 117 ERA. He was killing double A. That's why we moved him up. So we're going to go uh, player lock with him right off the rip and see how he does. And uh, we will probably play a full game. I think this, this date right here in the 10th is Framber Valdez to start, and we'll start that one. So we'll pitch with Cutliff here, Valdez here. We'll do some player locks the rest of the way. And get this, uh, get us all the way through the 31st. We'll progress up to the 2nd of September. And tomorrow morning, um, we will finish the regular season. And that means probably next week we will get to the playoffs. <clears throat> I'm taking a weekend off. So, you guys over on YouTube, I'm going to spread these videos out. So I probably won't give you this episode until Saturday, and I probably won't give you tomorrow's episode until Monday. Um, so anyway, that's how that's going to work. Um, if you guys saw my last episode, we got royally screwed by the game and lost our first round pick. It glitched out and gave us the last reliever that we scouted before the draft. I don't know why, but we will uh, correct that in the offseason. I'll go sign a 21-year-old uh, free agent and edit everything and get him to where he needs to be to uh, be used Neil Cologne as our newest first round pick. Um, but we'll take care of that in the off season. So anyway, let's get started and get some quick, quick Sims in here. And then we'll go down here to triple a and play this game by Chris Cutliffe. So welcome in and let's go. All right. Walker Bueller, first game of the day, big, 10-5 win, three hits for Mason Win, three for Herrera, three for Naylor. Bueller pitches well, Sandlin doesn't. Oh, um, let me go here, show you something. I did this off camera right before we started, very top. We re-signed three guys so we don't have to deal with it in the offseason. I think all three of them were renewables, and we signed Tolia and Herrera to their uh, through their renewable years. And then Andrew Painter. We signed him through his arbitration for like 2.2 .2 per year. So he's taken care of until he's 27, and we're not going to pay him a ton of money. So we're losing 25 mil off the books with Sonny Gray, so we can afford to pay him a little bit more as a younger player, get him locked down for his prime years, and uh, deal with him down the road. So, um, and you can see here in our budget, once we get past the uh, this season right here, we only have twenty million committed, so we can pretty much re replace everybody if we wanted to. After we get two more years after this, and then we get a bunch of contracts dropping off. So <clears throat> we got a three-year window, counting this year, that we need to win some World Series. So we'll see what happens. All right, Andrew Painter going up against a guy with an 11 ERA. Let's see if we can get him his 13th win. And we don't. We lose 4-3. to three. Painter pitches well. 
but Barlow blew the game. That's why I'm not bringing Barlow back. <clears throat> and we still have a four and a half game lead, so we haven't lost any ground. And this is where we're going to go in here now and player lock on Chris Cutliff. Not that game, this game. See Victor Scott there leading off. He'll be up next year. Thomas uh, Segesi hitting third. He's, he's struggling right now, but he'll be up next year as well. I'm probably going to trade Rangifo off at the uh, in the off season. Might see if we can get a really good <clears throat> setup guy or something for him. But this game, we are interested in only one guy, and that is Chris Cutliff. Our first round draft pick from two years ago. And there he is. <clears throat> 69 strikeouts. Nice. <clears throat> he pitches really well. Got a nice rhythmic motion here. Helps me to pace it out. Missed our spot. There we go. Nice K to start the day. Oh, by the way, if you guys like playing college football, the new uh, NCAA game that's coming out in July, EA is going to do a gameplay dive, a stream, video, whatever, on tomorrow at like... 10 o'clock central. What's up, Lynn Weezy? How you doing? Welcome in. So we'll get to see some actual gameplay from EA on that game tomorrow. So go over to their YouTube channel and you can have it notify you when they go live. That is the most important thing for the new game is the gameplay. Everything else is just bells and whistles, but we need good fucking gameplay. Like... A thousand times better than Madden. <clears throat> oh. Lynn, did you see what happened with our draft yesterday? <clears throat> if not, you can go over to here. And go check out my archived stream from yesterday. <clears throat> Never seen that happen before. Got him. There we go. There we go. No, she not right now. The dog came over, wanted to say hi. No, nope. go lay down. Go foul. Thank you. <clears throat> I lost my first round pick. I drafted a player, and when it came to the signing period. He was replaced by the last relief pitcher that I scouted. Nice, right on the corner. He just stood there and took three pitches. All right. Yeah, I'll fix it in the offseason. We'll just go sign a 21-year-old um, free agent. And then I'll edit him to be what the other guy should be. Um, I know what his... I know what his uh, potential and overall should be. There's a dude... Fiend Franchise has a uh, how to scout and draft um, video. And some guy in his comments... Um, mention how to uh, how to figure out what their actual overall and potential is based on 
what they are unscouted compared to what they are fully scouted. So I was able to figure out that he's a, uh, what did it say? 72 overall with 84 potential. So um, I will just recreate him, but it's still a pain in the ass. And how do we know that they haven't screwed the CPU teams like that? So where did my guy go? Is he going to just show up as a free agent? Or did he just completely disappear? No, this is, this is in franchise that it happened. <laughs> I'm player locked on our number one prospect right now because I wanted to see how he plays. <clears throat> before we invite him to spring training next year. <clears throat> well, Tully is playing right field. Got him, two-seamer. There we go, he's dealing through three. Try a backdoor slider on this guy. I ah, missed my spot. All right, change it. Stay in the park. There we go. Oh my gosh, that's rough. I guess that's why it's always good to have a glut of good young starting pitching so you can move them up. As you go, it's not the worst thing in the world to have too many young pitchers just, you know, those guys that are lower overalls but higher potential and they just sit in A ball. <clears throat> Four, six, three, thank you very much. There, come on, see Casey. There we go. You don't have to strike everybody out. I'll take this uh, two pitch, two out inning start. Gives us a little leeway in case we get a long at bat here. Let's throw a two seamer. Back with a slider, then a changeup. That's a foul ball. All right, we're gonna go away with a fastball, back up, back inside with the changeup. <clears throat> yeah, we missed our spot. Throw number two on the curveball. Now up and in with a fastball. Let's go. Got him. Got to work him up, down, in, out. <clears throat> this guy keeps simming the way he's simming, which is just ridiculously good. <clears throat> he will... Uh, he will be our number five starter next year over Tink Hintz. And I like Hintz, but this guy is performing better. 
There we go. Man, allergies are kicking in early today. Just throw him a curveball. Yeah, missed our spot. Get there, get there. Yep, there we go. <clears throat> See if we can get him to chase this curveball down in a way. There we go. He is dealing, man. He is fun to pitch with. Got him. There we go. Let's go. How many K's is that? You're not going to tell me? I'll go look. Eight K's, only two hits allowed. He wanted to go. Go get that. Thank you. Two down. He is cruising. I already know what thumbnail I'm going to use and what the title is going to be for this one. Oh man, he lost two guys at the major league level on 60 day DL. That's terrible. They're not making it easy on yet on that franchise, are they? There we go. Drop that in there. The uh, initial rosters have just horrible prospect ratings. James Wood is about ready to come up to the majors, and there's no way he'd be ready to come up to the majors in year one. Using their standard um, ratings. And we're dealing here in the eighth inning, and it's a scoreless game. Fly. Yeah, 50 and 112. Hey, well, the only bad thing is with the lottery, you're not guaranteed that first pick anymore. It's ridiculous. They should they should protect the worst team that they can't pick any lower than third. There we go. Hadn't thrown a slider in a while.
Got him. Let's go. Come on. Score a run for me. And we are out of the game, and we lose. <clears throat> Fuck, they gave up five runs in the top of the ninth. That's terrible. Eight innings, two hits, no runs, ten strikeouts. No, I don't want that. I want this. Except that's not the play I want. I want strike out. It's going to say MLB ready. And I'll put his line score. <clears throat> What's that put his season at? For triple A. Because double A was ridiculously good. Look at this. 47 hits in 68 innings. 79 strikeouts. And a 238 with an 094 whip. Yeah. I think he's ready. All right, let's sim Fromber. We're going to start this game right here with Fromber. We'll uh, have to decide if I want to play that whole game. I'd like to play a game at Yankee Stadium. So we might just pitch with Fromber here and play a whole game at New York. So let's go. And we went eight to two. Edmund and Donovan with homers. Fromber pitched great. He's thirteen and four. And let's play our lock with a hitter here. Mr. Jordan Walker. <clears throat> Hey Lynn, if you like uh, the team building aspect, let me let me go find his uh, YouTube channel for you. I'm gonna send you to a guy who's doing a draft only rebuild. Let's see, uh, it's his Colorado Rockies one. Go check out Fiend Franchise in his Colorado. It's draft only. Um, so you uh, you will enjoy that. <clears throat> oh. How did I just not hit that ball? Just didn't uh, make good contact. It was down the middle, too. Come on. I don't want to see him walk. All right. Up 2-1. to one. No, losing 2-1. to one. Read the scoreboard wrong. Change up oh, way out in front of that. Almost killed somebody over there in the Nationals dugout. <laughs> All right, see the pitch and hit it. There we go. That's through. He's not going to score, though. He's not fast enough. I'll keep the inning alive, though. Kind of jammed me a little bit. All right, Gorman, let's go. We need you to drive this ball deep somewhere. 
Swing and bat. Hey, when it tells non stolen base guys to steal. Come on, Arnado. That was a wasted opportunity. Yeah, now we're up. Five to four. Holy shit, no. What's that? Why is it so. Oh, I'm. The runs are in red, the hits are in white, so I look up and I see it's five to four, but that's hits to runs. Their scoreboard is weird. I was trying to drive that to right. <clears throat> Come on. We cannot strike out here. That'll get one in. All right, one run game. At least we got something out of that. And we got the tying run at second with two outs here in the seventh. Just guy throw. Fastball slider change. Way early on the changeup. Come on. With a single base runner because of all the power, they are dangerous. It's killing me with the off speed shit. I'm just trying to foul that off. Give me one more at bat. Can I have one more? Nope, we lost. Sonny did not pitch great. All right. Still have a four and a half game lead because no one else in the division is playing with their shit. All right. Straight steal, straight steal, straight sim. And we lose. Walker with a home run. Bybee pitched okay. Romano blew a game in the ninth. Fuck. He has been struggling lately. Um, let's play lock on. Brendan Donovan. <clears throat> I think the Cubs are wearing their city connects too. We got to get this offense going. <clears throat> It said they were going to be. It said it had their City Connect logo in the schedule. Whatever. We got our baby blues, though. This should be our road uniform 24 7. Take a walk here. Here's a high fly ball out to center. One down. On the north side of Chicago, John Chomby and Chris Singleton. 
Washington. Here's the left fielder, Brendan Donovan. No. Didn't get it an, an, uh, enough in the hole. Hit it right just to the left of the second baseman. Get that, get around a little bit more. That could be an RBI. Still 1 1 here in a second. And we play ground ball defense here because that's all they do when we play defense is we field ground balls. All right, 4 1 lead. At least the offense woke up a little bit. Mason Wynn with a home run. <clears throat> there we go. At the bottom, ticker says Freddie Freeman has a 24 game hit streak. Yep, didn't get all of that one. Good contact. All right, eight to one. Walker's dealing for a change. Three run homer by Newt Bar. Love that. Trying to go with that pitch to left. Donovan's not a home run hitter. He'll occasionally hit one, but I'm trying to uh, just get on base. And we got under that one. Fuck. All right. 0 for 4. He'll get one more AB. Edmund with a home run. Bellinger with a home run. Morrell with a home run. Jeez. Wind blown out to right. Yeah, I think next year when Segesi comes up from the minors, if he's he might play some second base and move Gorman to DH and sit Donovan against lefties. Three hits for Walker, two for Gorman, two for Edmund, two for Win. New Bar Edmund Win and Naylor Naylor with his thirtieth bomb. And we have a five and a half game lead. We're four and a half games behind the Phillies, though. We're on a nine and one in their last ten. We're six and four, so we've lost three games to them. So looking like we're going to settle in as the number two seed right now. <clears throat> And we'll just sim this game, and Painter gets the win. Tommy Edmond with two hits, including a home run. Painter's 13-6 and six as a rookie. Romano doesn't blow it. And we have a six-game lead. And let's see if he's still leading rookie of the year, Andrew Painter. All right. We're going to get an extra high pick, extra first round. Like, after the first round, there's another round. Short round of picks. So we'll get another pick in the uh, high 30s, low 40s. So we'll get uh, two picks there together, which would be nice. Let's save this. All right, so... We're going to player lock with Framber Valdez, and then we'll play a full game here at Yankee Stadium. <clears throat> <clears throat> Try.
try and uh, shut these guys down and get a stranglehold on the division. <laughs> the whiff on three straight curveballs. That is not where we wanted that pitch. And we lucked out. <laughs> that was hammered and it didn't go anywhere. Full first, love that. <clears throat> Get there. Get there. Come on, Newt. All right, six up, six down. Let's go. <clears throat> All right, got a run in the bottom of the inning. I love that. What a pitch. Holy crap. Thought I hung that. Right to Arenado. Throw to first. There we go. Eight up, eight down. He didn't swing. Got him. All right. It's nine up and nine down, boys. Nine up and nine down. <clears throat> Naylor with a home run. That's his 31st. Second. There we go. <clears throat> 
And there goes the perfect game. Jam shot. <clears throat> God damn. Both balls are right inside the bag. Throw them out at second. God, all three hits are bullshit. Not a single hard hit ball. fucking game. Come on, fuck, this is ridiculous. Throwing a perfect fucking game. And every fucking batter's got to, eh, through the hole, eh, just inside the line, eh, just inside the line, eh, through the hole, fuck off. Sit the fuck down. Contreras, ready to hit. Hey, in there for strike one. He's controlling 
things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the last Sean, hey, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Still tight. Come on, boys. Ooh, thought that was gonna get him. There we go. <clears throat> Eight Ks. Come on, boys. Need some runs. Let's go. And we are out of the game, and we lose. Fuck. Fucking bullpen. Mitchell with two homers. Mitchell couldn't hit two homers in a season. Fucking Mason Miller. We got swept at home by the Brewers. Player like with Arnado. He was hitting almost 300. Now he's down to 280. So our offense is struggling right now. was so I saw that meatball and I jumped and I was so early got to stay back another one
Ooh, you just got a piece of that. That Laranato might have to sit against lefties next year. 58 contact is not good. It's Dylan Carlson. We traded him and Goldschmidt to Cleveland in the first year to get Bybee Sandlin and Josh Naylor. is non-existent right now. <clears throat> Good old-fashioned pitcher's duel here. Five hitter for Suarez, two hitter for Bueller. And a perfect, perfect ground out. And now we're losing. Hey, Naylor with a home run. Wow. Oh, we were losing. We were winning, not losing. I can't read the scoreboard right now. Walker Bueller. Donovan and Naylor with homers. Walker with a two-hit shutout. All right. Well, offense is still struggling. We got three runs and had to get them late, but Walker did his job. <clears throat> All right. Andrew Painter loses. Or not on Contreras home runs. Painter got hammered. Sorry. And Fromber comes back and gets a 6 3 win. Sandlin gives up two. Fromber's 14 and 4, so that was our big free agent signing. Back to a four game lead. All right, Tommy's got the most hits on the team, hitting 297 with 18 home runs, 24 ribs, and 72 RBI. Walker, 27 and 89. He's going to hit 30 and 100. Naylor already has 30. He might get to 100. <clears throat> Donovan with 16 home runs. Gorman is not going to repeat last year. Arenado's down. He's regressing. Yeah, we paid this guy 5 mil, and we're going to ship him out. We have some younger guys. Don't need to play next year. Pitching wise, look at Fromber, 14 and 4. Painters, 13 and 7. Tanner's 12 and 6. 10 and 8. ERAs are way too high. They all need to be below 3.5. <clears throat> Zach is killing us. How many blown saves does he have? Three. Feels like more. <clears throat> it's giving up six home runs, though. That's never good. All right, so we're going to the Yankees, and I thought Faldez was going to pitch there, but it's Gray, Bybee, and Bueller. So let's pitch this game. Now, do I want to face Garrett Cole? Yeah, we got so many left-handed bats. We'll sim this game, and we'll pitch with Tanner Bybee. <clears throat> we'll play a full game here. Yeah, we'll just sim it. And we win 7-3. Arenado with a home run. Jordan Walker, four hits. Sonny Gray pitched better. Got his ERA under four. And a four-and-a-half game lead again. Let's save this before we jump in and play this full game against the Yankees. don't have much, do they? All right. Let's 
let's wear these 1942s. <clears throat> no, not having rain. We'll go overcast. We're not pitching in fucking rain. <clears throat> Lars is cold. All right, we'll drop him and put up Edmund and see if he does better. Actually, let's play Burleson. 70 and 61. And we'll DH Burleson. Play Jordan Walker in right field. All right. Might regret this, but here we go. You can always bring in Lars for defense later. Welcome in, baseball fan. <clears throat> through get through get through there we go that's a good way to start the day That'll be an infield hit. There we go. Good start to the day. All right, Jay Walk, let's go. Three straight hits. Bases loaded for Nolan Gorman. Not exactly tagging the ball, but hey, I'll take three straight hits. Uh, if Gorman can hit a big fly. Not like that. Not an infield fly. Strikeout either. Fuck. Base is loaded and nobody out, and we're not going to get a run. Son of a bitch. Come 
on. Yeah, Volpe hitting cleanup. The hell does this team look like? Twenty pitches in the fucking inning. Damn right he went. How the hell has he hit that pitch out? That's up and in, and he turned on it. Not fucking possible.
shut down inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. I got a ball, one strike. One and one. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there and have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. Line, and that's a base hit. Chased and it was off speed and I was way out in front. Runner on first had to wait to see if he was going to get caught or not. <clears throat> All right. Need a hit. Ooh, just missed inside the bag. Least ground ball to the right side, fly ball to the outfield. I'll take a base hit and that'll score two. All right, tie game. Let's go. Don't think he got all of that. He did. Holy shit. All right. <laughs> Adios, Pelota. I didn't think he got all of that. Apparently he did. Mm, tried to golf that. Should have just let it go. Oh, Tommy got all of that one. Not enough, though. Sounded better than it was. I just want to say I hate these stadium sounds. I know they do it for realism, but I fucking hate certain stadiums. Make a good pitch and you get burned.
God damn. It's out of that bullshit. All right. It was two huge Ks. Why was I swinging at that pitch? Ooh, good pitch. But that was inside. right down the pipe and I missed it. Nope, oh, that was, other than getting his pitch count up, that was not a good inning.
Come on. <sighs> Fucking game. Carved right up. Tardy on ninety six. Says it was good contact, but I was late. More runs. Faster outfielder would have got that. That guy's been a pain in my ass the whole game. Gosh. Arnado finally makes a play. Batten. Um, Batten, I haven't seen any gameplay yet, so I can't comment. The gameplay is the only thing that matters. Nothing else matters. So once I see some gameplay, I know EA is going to release a gameplay thing tomorrow on their official YouTube channel. But... If anybody has released gameplay today, I haven't seen it because I've been streaming. Come on, drop, 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 drop. There we go. And honestly, it's gonna it's gonna be how it feels when you play the game, not watching somebody else play the game. But that's that's really the only thing that matters is gameplay. Don't care about anything else. <laughs> Right. 
Yeah, I saw that. I don't care what they say. I want to see it. What they say doesn't matter. They're being paid by EA to come promote their shit. So, of course, they're going to be uh, positive. But I want to actually see the gameplay and play it myself. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, anybody that goes down there, they're not going to give you a negative review. <laughs> That's part of the deal. Here, you get to play this game early and come down here, but you don't get to give us a bunch of shit. I actually want to see regular video of the gameplay. God damn it. That's, that's all that matters, though, is the gameplay. But as someone who's played thousands of hours of NCAA 14, it needs to play like NCAA 14. Yeah, I, I don't play the Road to Glory mode anyway, so it doesn't bother me so much. I found it highly repetitive and kind of boring. I don't get into the story mode stuff anyway, so... Yeah, only thing that matters is gameplay and... Um, Sounds like the recruiting stuff's going to be more like 13, which is okay. I, I 14 was the, like the different recruiting. Otherwise, they were all mostly like 13 before. So it'll just take more time to recruit now. <clears throat> but yeah, gameplay is is the key thing. And uh, I'm from Missouri, so I don't want to hear about it. I want to see it. you got to show me the gameplay. Don't talk about it. Yeah, it's going to be harder to recruit because uh, recruiting for the higher starred players, they're going to have certain things that they require, and the smaller schools um, won't have it, and so they won't even be able to get those guys. So you're going to have to build your school up before you can go after the bigger ones. So, yeah, that makes it difficult but um, um, I don't think they understand the community though because we'll find a way to build those small schools up regardless <laughs> that's what we do alright he's done he's tired and he's finished Need more some more runs here. Force Whitley's in. All right, so we got a brand new pitcher. What does he have? Fastball, slider, curveball, changeup. It's just foul. I'm gonna be a little more aggressive with this guy. Just fight that shit off. No, I did not make any trades at the deadline. We were standing pat, but our bullpen is been shaky. Our offense is in a slump, so we just need to get them both going in these last however many games before the end of the regular season. Once we get to the playoffs, I will play every game, so now it'll come down to uh, my skill and less ratings and the luck of the sim and we got to get out of the first round of the playoffs man Last episode. I hope they do. They, they're, they're not. They're going to be in contention for the division the rest of this year because, of course, we are. He should have been fired after last season. I hate that fucking asshole. He's a complete arrogant prick for no reason at all. None. Same thing with our GM. They both need to be fucking fired. <clears throat> we need a whole new front office and a whole new coaching staff.
are we at? Seven? Yeah, a lot of teams. Mets just didn't spend money wisely. I blame that on their owner. He's trying to keep up with the Yankees and he needs to get some good young core players and then go get free agents to uh, supplement. Yeah, this isn't Bybee pitching now. <laughs> I will say, you weren't here earlier, we uh, player locked with a pitcher down in AAA. It was our uh, first round pick from the very first draft we did in the series. And uh, pitched eight innings and had like, I don't know, 10, 11 strikeouts, only allowed two hits. I think he had 10 strikeouts. Buyers and sellers, they need to be buyers right now for a fifth starter, but they're not going to do it. They, they are not aggressive in the way um, they should be. And they hang on to prospects that end up being nothing. So, I don't know. I'm Until they get rid of this front office, I'm just in, indifferent. Don't care. Our hitting approach and our player development is absolute ass. We will not be aggressive at the deadline, that's for sure. Yeah, I don't know what happened with that. So I'm going to have to recreate him. Maybe he'll be out there as a free agent, and I can just grab him and put him on the team. That would be fun. But I'll recreate him if he's not sitting out there as a free agent. No idea what happened with that. It was from the end of the draft to when we started signing players that it glitched out. And that was the last pitcher I scouted that we had on the team instead. I don't understand. Makes me wonder if it happened to the CPU. Oh, Rocket right to third. In the past, that the CPU lost good players like that too? I don't know. Because I don't track all those players. I don't have enough time to sit down and write down every good player that goes in the draft. That's the first time I've seen that bug. Oh, that's going to be a gappa. Is he going to have enough time to get all the way around? We're going to send him. There we go. Extend that lead. Let's go. Tommy Two Bags. That's why we call him Tommy Two Bags. Come on, Nolan. Oh, shit. Should have let that pitch go. Burleson gets on, we'll run for him because he doesn't have the greatest speed. And it won't matter because he lines out. All right. Tommy extends that lead. All right. They got two righties and a switch. And the switch is actually better against lefties. So Sandlin will uh, start the inning at least. And one pitch out, he might finish the inning. Got to keep 
Celtics airtight defensively right here on your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta switch controllers. That one was all sweaty anyway. Got him with the splitter. Let's go. He went, ring him up. Come on, garbage third base coat and yeah, umpire. Come on. Fucking ridiculous. There we go. Yeah, there's been a lot of injuries all over the place. It's been a shitty year. I play fantasy baseball. I'm always in the either in the money or right in the top four, top five, and I'm in the last place this year. And it's because everybody's fucking Slumping, not hitting, not pitching. I lost to Cunha before I could trade him. It's just been not fun year. Like, I'm just making sure I have uh, guys in the lineup that aren't injured, but I'm not trying. I'm kind of giving up on the season already. It's not even June. getting to the point in my life where I don't give a shit about fantasy sports. I worked in the industry for over 20 years and uh, I'm getting to the point where I just don't care. Yeah, fuck Angel Hernandez. He should have been fired years ago. Now they need to get rid of C.B. Buckner and Laz Diaz and some of these other guys. I saw a home plate umpire the other day had like 82% correct calls if you're that bad, you need to be sent back to the miners for more training or just straight up let go. Oh, there we go. Josh Naylor says, fuck off, New York. <laughs> Adios, 33 home runs for Josh Naylor. <laughs> that was a rocket. Bam. That was a missile. Second deck. Let's go. This is 99 clutch kicking in. Yeah, they've been truly awful. There's a uh, Twitter account, if you're on Twitter, called Umpire Scorecards. And um, I see their ball and strike calls um, every day for what they did the day before. And they're just god-awful. These fucking bullshit inside out hits drive me insane. You make a good pitch and you get penalized for it.
All right, that'll be two outs. Since we're going into the uh, playoffs, I might next episode, which will be tomorrow, by the way, I might just play three games, three full games, and not do anything else. So I'm good to go for the playoffs, which will be next week. So I'll play this today. I'll shove this out on YouTube um, Saturday. I'll play tomorrow. Stick that on YouTube on Monday. And then next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we'll play the playoffs. All right, 11 hits, 7 runs, 2 home runs. Bybee pitched okay, kind of got some bad luck with all those hits. Sandlin did his job, Miller did his job. Gave up a bullshit home run on a high inside fastball. He turned on and hit it out. That's not going to happen. All right. Back to a five and a half game lead. We got swept at home by Milwaukee. And since then, they pursued it to proceed to lose three out of four. They have some extra off days in there. All right. And Walker Bueller against Savali. And we lose 11 to 7. Newt Bar and win with homers. Bueller got fucked. It's Thompson. God. Bueller might be in the bullpen for the first round of the playoffs at this point. Yeah, here's our draft picks. This is the guy that we had a uh, 72 overall, 84 potential center fielder get replaced by this guy. We got a couple other decent bats here that can develop in the minors. Some good young pitching that'll just sit in the minors, low minors. All right, 79 wins. Dodgers are not even in first place. 83 for the Phillies. All right, at the Reds. Um, we'll sim that game. Lose six, eight to six. Three more home runs. Painter pitched well with a bullpen. Shit the bed. God damn. Come on, bullpen. This is ridiculous. All right, I'm, I'm going to save, and then we're going to player lock because this pitcher is uh, a young pitcher that has terrible hits per nine. So we're going to bat against him. And it's going to be Nolan Gorman. <clears throat> I didn't realize he was lefty. Thought he was a righty. This guy was taken in the first round of our first draft as well. Oh man! Jammed myself. Two to one. Uh, I'll 
off-speed pitch. Let's see throw. Slider, fastball, changeup, cutter. Slider's his main pitch. Which means it's going to be down. Another jam shot. God damn it. Now we're losing five to two. God damn. Fucking pitching in this game is just horrible this year. Can use that hit earlier with men in scoring position. Come on, Nolan. Lost a guy at double A. He was hitting really well, but he's a D potential guy. Donovan and Ren Gifo with home runs. Sonny Gray pitched great. Bullpen did not shit the bed for a change. Three and a half game lead. And uh, Williamson, a little player lock in this game. I know he's right handed. We'll go with new bar. Let's go. It's like the wind's blowing up. I thought he was right-handed. I don't know these pitchers, obviously. I thought all these guys were right-handed. And we're batting against left-handed pitchers with left-handed batters. No way that guy should have gone to third on that play. I'm going to turn off fielding on player lock because all we're doing, we're not even catching fly balls. We're just fielding ground balls. It's just fucking stupid.
Cena's going to knock him off his stride too much. Fly ball, center field. There's more confidence in a team than a center fielder who makes a great play like that on the run. They can feed off the energy he brings just from his playmaking abilities. And here is Mason Wynn, the flame. Fires over to Burns. Third out. Now to right fielder, Lars Eagle. One for two. I think that's another single to left to right field. Yeah, we're going to turn off defense and player lock. It'll make the games go faster. It's pointless. Four hit shutout. Jesus Christ. Oh, my. No more defense on player lock. Um, 80 and 53, four game lead. We are struggling. Let's just sim this game. And we win five to one. Tommy Edmond with a home run and three RBI. Walker Bueller pitched great. Walker with 93 ribs. Tommy Edmonds knocking on the door for 20 home runs. <laughs> Nayla needs 15 more ribs for 100. Gorman, Arenado dropped 20 points off his average. Mason Wynn needs to move up against lefties. Let's do this. It's righties. Good. He needs to go up. He needs to go up. He needs to go up. All right, let's save in the home stretch of this uh, episode here. We're going to get all the way through the first. So, Urquidy, I know, is right handed. So, uh, let's go player lock here. And we will go. Let's go, Tommy. No, let's not go, Tommy. Let's go do these guys. Let's go, Naylor. No. Yep, let's do Naylor.
Damn it. This guy throws him out of a junk. Way out in front and hooked that. Holy crap, lucky we even hit the ball at all. That's going to be down. RBI double, there we go. Get us going. Come on, Jordan. A big fly. Give us a big run. Big early lead. There we go. One out. Man in third. Base hit or a sack fly or a ground ball to the right side will get us this run. Just like that. 2 nothing lead. Painter needs all the help he can get. Facing a tough team. It's three to nothing in the third with Wynn hit a home run. Here we go, another hit. I'm glad I changed our uh, batting order because it was really kind of fucked up. So we need to get Wynn higher. If he's got 70 contact and 70 power against lefties, he needs to be hitting much higher. Come on, Jaywalk. Launch one. Oh, double play. Hey, Donovan with a two-run homer. It's five to nothing. Painter has two hits allowed through five. Yeah, Naylor won the home run derby this season. We had Gorman and Naylor both get to the semis and had to face each other. That was a good pitch, man. Really good pitch. All right, 6 nothing in the seventh. Cooper Criswell. Totally different pitcher. Sinker, slider, cutter. Yeah. Got to lay off that shit. Dodgers beat the Cubs. Brewers are playing the Rockies. That doesn't help us. Rays leading the Diamondbacks. Come on, Rays. Win that game because we're battling Arizona for the number two seed. Couldn't stay back. Wow, eleven to nothing. Three run homer by Contreras. Maybe this lineup adjustment was uh, way overdue. Holy crap. Nice ball game. Since I took away all the defense, all we're doing is batting, so that's good. Three hits allowed. Everybody had a hit. Almost everybody had two hits. Donovan, Contreras, and Wynn with home runs. Wynn with a steal. Painter, seven and a third, shutout ball. He's 14 and seven as a rookie. It's going to win rookie of the year and get us another high draft pick. That's awesome.
There he is. Castro. I didn't think he was a rookie. Well, yes, he is. He doesn't have the stats that we have, though. We have way more strikeouts. 14 wins. Same ERA. Painter, 150 and 157 hits per innings. Only 13 home runs allowed. 153 Ks. 16 quality starts, one shutout, eight hit batters, 8.7 Ks per nine. Fuck off. FIP of 356. Still a five game lead. Guaranteed to be guaranteed to be over five hundred even if we lose every game going forward. We'll sim this one. We lose nine to four. Edmund, Donovan, Gorman, Arenado with home runs. Valdez is struggling now. He's down and up and down and up and down. He's he's all over the place. What's Killian? Uh, we'll go with Tommy this time. Where are we at? Right at two hours. I might play a lock with one more pitcher. Just a pitcher. Welcome into Bush State. Just about set to go. And on the hill in this one, Sonny Gray. Arnado gets us an early lead. There we go. Now it's 3 nothing. All right, we need to drive this ball. Not swinging it shit over your head. Um, at least we're scoring runs. We can get the uh, pitching staff to quit giving up runs. May have to rework this bullpen next year. There it is. Get down. Bases loaded. One out. Let's go. Come on, Wilson. Fly ball. Keep this ball out of the infield. That's not going to work. Oh, no, it's three to two because Smith homers. Tommy with 20 homers and 75 ribs. That's ridiculous. He's a 2020 guy. That's a gapper. That's going to be at least two, maybe three. We're going three. Triples alley. All right, Wilson. You need a hit this time. There's two outs. There we go. Five to two lead. Keep tacking on runs. Now it's six to three. Trying to golf that shit.
And we got the dub. No home runs. Three doubles, two triples. Trying not to sneeze. And... I couldn't fight it off. <laughs> All right. Sonny Gray, nine. And JoJo gave up three hits in two-thirds of an inning. That's not good. Well, the offense is turning it around since we adjusted the lineup. <clears throat> and that's a double-A pitcher. Don't care to let him. I'll just adjust that. And five game lead. Six games behind the Phillies. Only one game ahead of the Diamondbacks. We got to get hot again because we're going to lose the number two seed here in a minute. There you go. Walker's closing in on 100. Tommy's got a 2020 season with 300. Naylor's closing in on 300. Or, uh, He's going to have to have a hot finish to the year to get him 100 RBI. Donovan's got 20 bombs. Gorman's up to 30. Arenado's not. He's regressing, which I figured he would. We might have to ship him out in the offseason for whatever. Move Gorman to third, put Sejaci at second. Valdez and Painter with 14 wins. Bybee with 13. You can get their ERAs under four. That would be awesome. Cano's pitching great. Finally got everybody under five. His ERA is up to four. Man, he is struggling. Home runs per nine. Hmm. If you blow another save, I might have to take him out of that role. <clears throat> All right, Justin Steele, we'll just straight sim that game and we win four to one. Contreras with a home run. Bybee pitched great. Cano gets it gets his eighth win in relief. Romano bounces back. All right. All right, and we're going to sim this game and we win 10 to 8 slugfest. Her, Edmund, Donovan, Naylor, Walker, and Mason win with two home runs. Wow. Naylor has 34. Gorman has 30. Walker has 28. Donovan, 21. Edmund, 21. Wins up to 17. All right, we're going to player lock on Andrew Painter and try and get him his 15th win. If the offense will cooperate. Yeah, that, that should almost guarantee that he wins Rookie of the Year. Because he'll have a Braves, Tigers, Reds. And pirates are probably so he won't have a chance for 20 wins I don't think but <clears throat> he could win 17 that's for sure 17 wins as a rookie gotta love that um, we're sitting at two hours so we are going to play a lock on the pitcher only and then that'll be the last game of the day Rodriguez hitting third. I got Wisdom and Rally, and I got some power in the middle of that order. Live from Bush Stadium in St. Louis, Missouri, MLB the show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Seattle Mariners taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. 
alongside my partner Chris Singleton. I'm John Shop. Thanks for joining us here. Chris, one of the elite Just about set to go. And starting in this one, Andrew Painter. What do you look for here? Well, you can see his whip is a little above the league average. Not bad, but I think in this one, he's going to need to. Back in the day when I was a kid, they would call these day games during the week uh, businessman specials. These guys go to the ball game during the day, during the week, take their customers out. Got him. There we go. Jesus. Go get that. Thank you. <laughs> Dangerous hitter taken care of. How does he hit that pitch that far? That pitch was up and in. We have a better inning next inning. <laughs> what a swing. Ball's carrying today, that's for damn sure. Turn two, four, six, three. There we go. Arnado gets one run back. Got him.
He swung. Ring him. There we go. Is he going to get there? I didn't think so. That's a swing. No. There's a swing. Curveball's working today. <clears throat> Naylor ties it with a home run. Spending spree. Um, we have the money, but not this season. I've got some guys that are going to be on expiring contracts next year, <clears throat> like Gorman and Newt Bar, and some of those guys are getting close to the end of their contract that I signed at the start. Um, and they're going to need 25, 30 mil per. So we'll see. <clears throat> I might improve the bullpen. I might go, go try and get some... Uh, higher quality guys for the pen so that we don't struggle so much at the end of games. Our, uh, we have some guys in the minors that need to come up and play. At least be backups. So it's very possible, especially if we don't win the World Series, we might ship Arenado out so I can create a spot for a younger player who's not regressing to step in. We got like a three year window where all of our guys are signed. <clears throat> and uh, so we got three years to uh, do it with this team. Thought that was a foul ball. Bats, let's go. Still two. Two, two in the sixth. Man, we've got him to pop out foul ball out twice today. That's huge. Come on, offense. Get me some help. 
Nope, 2-2 two -two in the seventh. I love these foul outs by the power hitters, man. Go for it. Oh, there we go. Ground out to third. Where are we at pitch wise? Sixty four pitches. Man, we're just wearing out Gorman at second base. All right. Come on, get some runs. And when he take me out. And we lose. Fucking Tyler O'Neill hits a three-run homer. Castillo's a good pitcher, but still. All right. September call-ups. This is what we are doing. We are calling up Henry Davis. And... Um, We are calling up, do I want to do Victor Scott? No, I want to do a pitcher. Um, was he on the 40 man yet? All right, he's not on the 40 man. I don't want to bring up Palante. Is Reyes on the 40 man? No. We're going to bring up Smith Shaver and put him in long relief. That's what we're going to do. Sonny Gray's down to a 75. Ugh. Bybee's regressing too. Dealer's holding still. Painter's up to an 80. Wow. He could be our number two next year at the rate he's progressing. <clears throat> All right, we have a five and a half game lead. Half game behind the Diamondbacks for the number two seed. Phillies have 91 wins. Tommy Edmond, 2080 with 26. Wow. Jordan Walker, still knocking on the door for 100. Naylor's getting close. He only needs 11 this month. Gorman's not going to get there. Donovan has 21 home runs. Arnado is down. Wynn has almost replaced him with production. Contreras has gotten hot lately. Yeah. This $5 million we spent here is probably going to get moved. <clears throat> we 
should still be there. Otani is first for MVP. Montgomery is 21 and 4. And we are just starting September. What the fuck? Bednar. Rookie. Castro. Came up, but he's not going to get him because Painter's got him in K's. God, the American League's terrible for Rookie of the Year. Well, let's take a look at, see who's injured. Looking for big name players. Grayson Rodriguez is out for one to two. Dominguez, one to six. Horner's out. That's why these guys are sucking. Tyler Freeman's out. Jose Ramirez, he got hurt early in the season. He's been out the whole year. He only had 23 at-bats before he broke his and dislocated his ankle. <clears throat> Chaz McCormick's out. Logan O'Hoppy's out. Ramon Urias, Zach Wheeler's out, Taiwan Walker's out, and these guys just keep winning. <laughs> Tyler Stevenson's out, Terang's out for the year, Chirillo's out. Juan Soto's hurt for the second time this year. Look at that, he's only had 193 at-bats this year. And Kibrian Hayes got hurt back in early May out for the year so all right let's save this and call this a day and i will be back tomorrow to finish off this regular season so that next week tuesday wednesday thursday we can play the playoffs if we happen to lose before we get to the world series then we'll do the off season but that's where we're at so thank you guys for hanging out with me today and uh, come back tomorrow late morning between 9 and 10 central time and uh, we'll finish off this regular season for season three and hopefully have a much better um, postseason this year compared to last let's see who is out here that we can raid let's go with who am I following who's following Katie's got basketball. Dirty Casuals playing Ark. Let's go look at the same category. Throwback, events, franchise. That dude, Ray. I'm going to send you guys off to a... Uh, another franchise person so yeah let's go check this dude out let's give him some uh, some love we'll get this raid started and uh, when you guys are ready to go we'll be out of here so you guys take care and thank you again and I will see you tomorrow morning Thank mm -hmm. you.